Welcome, sweet friends. This is Barb Gully from Barb's Key Service. And we are back at On TV Studios for our podcast. I'm here in the studio Mm -hmm. with... Yes, who? (laughs) Studio engineer. (laughs) Yes. Co-host and arm candy. And the shirt to prove it. And the shirt to prove it, Chris. Yes. Ciao, Chris. Ciao. Bad enough. (laughs) So I I have learned yes. in my lifetime that ciao doesn't just mean goodbye. It means hello as well. Yes. So It's a confusing word. Ciao. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to... It's uh, like hell bye. Hello and bye. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. I don't know if that's going to catch on. No, no. No, it won't. <laughs> All right. It, and it shouldn't. So the I'm glad you talked about that arm candy. Yes. Shirt. Yes. Because we're going to have a special guest soon yes related to Uh-oh. that certain monogram wow wow mysterious okay yeah okay but we are here for podcast 22 we're still here we're still here <laughs> and i might say vante due wow mm-hmm. that's sure. italian yeah. uh and uh means something what is means it? 22 all right okay good all right <laughs> okay so we're going to be talking about italy today uh-huh Sort right. of subtle. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we get there. it. We get it. <laughs> and you might think, hey, maybe they'd have a Halloween themed podcast. Yes. Since this is Halloween week, uh-huh. we're November first yes. right now. Right, but right. but we're gonna save that. Yes. Because we have a special Halloween brew. Yes. That we thought we'd reserve for our next yeah. special guest. Yes. Because it contains ginger. Uh huh. And our special guest, Rob, yes. likes ginger. Yeah. Seems like all our special guests seem to favor ginger tea. Well, you know, uh, sure. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> why not? But it's not a requisite to being no. a special guest. No, no. Just, just kind of a coincidence, yeah. a happy coincidence. Yeah, very happy. So, okay, we're going to talk about that uh, in, in the future. But right. today we're going to talk a little bit about Italy. Yes, And this was inspired by a recent gift to us from uh, some tea that was brought back from Rome Mm -hmm. from our friends. And and we'll get to that in a minute. But we were in Italy in 2017. Yes. It seems like yesterday. It it really does because there's that weird gap there. But so we went to Rome. Mm -hmm. We went to Florence. Right. Firenze. Firenze. Yeah. And Venice. Yes. But... We were going to talk about the two different tea rooms, one in Rome and one in Venice. Right. It's a lot to cover. It's a lot to cover. So Venice almost needs its own. It does. I agree. Its own. It's so 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 yeah. magical. Such yes. a wonderful place. So yeah. we're going to save that for another Venice, Italy-themed right. Right. podcast. But today we're going to. You can't go wrong. You, you can't. You right. really can't. So right. we're going to cross the ocean. We're mm-hmm. going to say ciao mm-hmm. to pasta, yes. art, and a Roman holiday. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. And if we have time, I'd also like to talk to, about a recent article in the in Consumers Report. Yes. Uh huh. Their latest edition. Yeah. It features a a section on tea as yeah. well as an a little bit of a reference to a BTS tea friend. Yes. Okay. So it's exciting. Yes. And then again, if we have a little bit more time, we'll talk about a ladies' tea we had last weekend. Yes. And some exciting new things that are coming to the podcast. I can't wait. Uh, <laughs> you'll have to. Okay. All right. <laughs> but first, tea. Or, in Italian, please. Il ma prama il te. <laughs> Close enough. <laughs> yes. All right. Very good. Okay. So. Well, we got past that. <laughs> I tried. I actually had worked on that. You probably could tell. Wow. Okay, so today we're having Earl Grey Imperial from Babington's in Rome. Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. And if we want to take a, a look at the 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 yep. tea tin. Okay, we are going to check this out. Okay, it's so, up. Isn't yep. that pretty? It is, yes. So that's from Babington's. And it's in, uh, from Rome. From Rome, yes. yes. And and then if you want to mm-hmm. segue back, uh, I'm going to show I have a matching tea, co- uh, well, tea mug, mug yes. that I got from Babington. So yes. a treasured heirloom that we're going to pass along <laughs> to our children. 
Because <laughs> they want all our stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. All right. So let's take a little taste of this tea. All right, we will. Oh, it's very crisp for a, for a black tea, I would say. And um, it's got, uh, you know, something floral in it. Help me out. Oh, okay. It does. Yeah. It, it does. It's because it's it's the traditional Earl Grey right. with the bergamot oil. Right, 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 right. And the black tea. Right. But it has, you're picking up florals. It has corn flour oh, okay. and safflower. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. But it, that's again. This is an overwhelming. No, no, no. It's a. It's a. It kind of. It kind of rests on the, the palate, and uh, this would be. I mean, it'd be a great uh, afternoon tea with the savory sandwiches. I think that'd be a great accompaniment. I think you're right. Yes. And I like that you said it's crisp because I. Yep. I it really does. It kind of. Yep. Mm. Slight bite. Slight bite. Okay. Yep. So there was instructions on the the tea tin. Right. Brew three to four minutes. Right. Not quite to a full boil. Uh huh. About two o three or so. Right. They give it in Celsius, so we had to yeah, convert. Convert. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and this was kind of cool too. It also has a uh, in ink. They yep. they penned it in an expiration date. <gasps> Whoa. Okay. Yeah. And December twenty sixth. Oh. Wow. Okay. Yes. Right. We well, got time. We got time. Right. It won't make it. All right. It'll be out by <laughs> right. then. But very good. Okay. So, a shout out to our friends Pam and Quint who went. They were recently in Italy and yes. Rome, and they stopped at Babington's. Globe trotting as they do. They do. Mm-hmm. So they were actually our travel consultants when we decided we were going to go to Italy. Yep, yep. And they gave us the skinny on what to see and do. Exactly, and especially that one in Venice. Yes. Right. Uh, so we and we so said, we'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. Right. Right. So I thought I would ta- start at the beginning. How right. we got to this trip to Italy. Yes. So in 2016, uh-huh. that was a very good year for Barb's Tea it Service. It was. You were busy. <clears throat> oh, you're always busy. Always busy, yeah, right? Right. But this was the season finale, the the last season of Downton Abbey, right. As it was aired in the U.S. Right. On PBS. On PBS, right. right. So everybody wanted to have a Downton Abbey tea. Yes. So Rachel, our daughter, yep. and uh, also BTS co-owner. We were busy with Downton Abbey teas right. almost every other weekend from yep. January to June yes. of 2016. Yep. And some of those we traveled. Yes. We, we yep. stayed overnight, different mm-hmm. places. Yep. And it was great, but it was also a lot of time. Right. And right. I thought, you know, Rachel yep. gave up a lot of her weekends right. and evenings. So I said, next trip, you pick out where you want to go. Yes. And she said, Italy. Yes. And that was... It was shocking. It was shocking because I probably would have said England. Equally shocking. <laughs> Again, Earl Grey in yeah, England. Right. Okay. But, uh, and then Chris, you joined us. Yes, I did. So it yep. was a really nice little yep. family trip. Right. And Rachel and I worked out the itinerary right. and our home base was Rome. Right. And we had this really nice hotel. Yes. You probably recall. Mm-hmm. It was on Via Marguda. Yes. So it was just a... A little ways from the Spanish steps. Right. Around the corner, sort of. Yeah. Around the corner, sort of. (laughs) And there was this, uh, I'd say it was uh, almost like a sanctuary. Because once you rounded the corner. Right, right. Yeah, you were were into the the scrum. But once you kind (laughs) of came around to our hotel, it was... It was quiet and private and very relaxing. It was wonderful. Right. It was really beautiful. And the... So what did we see when we were there? Yes. We uh, went to see, when we were in Rome, that was our right, home base. Right, right, right. So we went to Vatican City. Yeah, we did all the Colosseum and the the, uh, pan, the Pantheon. and Yes. Uh, or, yeah, pan, yeah, there's Pantheon Parthenon. Right, right, yeah, right. That it's is. Pantheon. Yeah. yeah. And we, uh, right, Trevi Fountain, yeah. all those things. we ate and we ate and we ate. We ate. Yes. And actually, that first night, we went to this restaurant. Yes. That uh, our... Uh, the, uh, uh, the gentleman at the, the hotel, uh, said, uh, we were talking about where to go and he recommended, he said, asked if we had ever had carbonara. And I said, no, what is that? And, uh, so he gave us the name of a place. He says, and this is true. He said, it's like my mother used to make. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Oh, and it was, yeah, it was delicious. Great. Yes. And you've got to make more of that at yes. home. Yes. So, so then we noticed that, um, uh, when we were on our street on Via Marguda. Yeah, we're having lunch or something. We're having lunch one day. Yeah. And people were 
just walking up and uh there was a like an apartment building behind a gate and they were like you know taking pictures and talking and and uh you know i we wondered if someone had been murdered there or something <laughs> what was the story anyway we found out is it was the uh filming site of a rather famous movie back in the 50s which was roman holiday amazing right we were there right and it starred audrey hepburn yep gregory peck uh-huh and yeah yep right was, on this via yep. marguda yep yep it's great and we were when we were talking about roman holiday yep. we went back when we came home we watched it right 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 and this was in the 1953 1954 yep. right and it, there was always this sort of yeah like a lot of other movies at the time, there was uh, perhaps a little bit of an age difference, an between, age difference between the leading man and leading woman. Right. And, uh, and that was interesting. And so. I think it still continues. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It yeah. still continues. Yeah. And no judging. But there's some that were... A little bit of judging. <laughs> a little bit of judging. So Gregory Peck, he's yeah. 37. Right. Audrey Hepburn's 24. Right, right, right. Eh, you know, it's... It's, it's maybe second wife territory. I don't know. Oh, well, yeah. But you know what? Yeah. I mean, Gregory Peck, very yeah. handsome. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And you get yeah. that, yeah. that mm -hmm. appeal. Right, right, right. But we were recently watching on TCM, we watched Rear Window. Yes, yeah. And we have Jimmy Another 50s movie. <laughs> yeah, same time frame, 53, yeah, yeah, 54. Yeah. J Jimmy Stewart and... Uh, Grace Kelly. Grace Kelly. Yeah. So she's 25. Yeah. He's 46. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. We're pushing pushing the envelope on that one. Yeah. Although if you look, yeah. he they made him look like he's like in his late 70s. Yeah. I, I'm not exactly sure what that <laughs> what they were going for there. It was a thing. It, it was, was well, thing. it was Alfred Hitchcock. Right, right. And uh read into that what you will. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> yeah. exactly. But probably the most egregious yes. in okay. this age disparity. Yeah. Uh -huh. Well, we're on this tangent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. We're going there. <laughs> <laughs> White Christmas. Yes, okay. So, White Christmas. Yeah. Rosemary Clooney yes. is 25. Yeah. Bing Crosby, 51. Wow. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's, uh, and, and he doesn't really have that no. Gregory Peck no. look no. or appeal. <laughs> no. And actually, the general. Yes. That's retired. What do you do with the general? <laughs> yes. <laughs> that's my brother Ed's favorite song. <laughs> that is. And he's this old, yeah. retired general. <laughs> The actor who played him is actually 51, same age as yeah, Bing Crosby. Yeah, amazing. <laughs> and then Vera Ellen yeah. plays Rosemary Clooney's right. younger sister. Younger sister. <laughs> She's 33. Yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, Danny Kaye is like yeah. 43. But it just shows that Rosemary Clooney, 25 years yeah. old, but she's got to she's yeah. date the 51-year-old guy, and she's got a 33-year-old younger sister. Uh, it kind of takes you out of it, doesn't it? <laughs> does yeah. but okay we digress let's yes. get back to yeah. italy uh I know Roman they, yeah they probably weren't drinking tea either so <laughs> sorry about that okay so when you think of italy and rome right. you don't really think of afternoon tea. no you don't no but they're ha they have this wonderful tea room called yep. babington's yes. mm -hmm. and not maybe too surprisingly it does have its roots in england right, right. okay so it it was the Creation, the, it was founded by two women uh -huh. in 1893. It was back in the day, right? They were from England. Right. So we have Isabel Cargill mm -hmm. and Anna Maria Babington. Okay, the namesake. Yes, right. <laughs> so what had happened, it kind of starts out a little bit uh, rough, but uh, yep. turns out okay. Yep. So Isabel is a jilted bride. Oh, no. She's left at the altar. Oh. And... But undeterred. Yep. Strong right. woman. All right. Right. She says, I want to get out of here. I want to seek adventure. It's a revenge tour. <laughs> it could be, yes. And so she wants to go to Rome. Yes. But at the time, it was considered inappropriate for yeah. a young woman to travel alone. Uh -huh. So she's got a friend and a kindred spirit yep. in Anna Maria Babington. Yep. She's a little bit older, right. but she too wants adventure. Right. So they go to Rome mm -hmm. and they set up this tea room. Yes. And at the time, there were quite a few expats, pe expats yeah. people English. from England who yeah. were there. So they welcomed this tea room. Right, right. A and little it, bit of home. It was a little bit of home. And yeah. it was a great success yeah. owing to that. Right. And they had, yeah. their tea room had a luxury for its time that attracted a lot of people. Oh, 
Uh, what could it be? Indoor plumbing. Oh boy. Yeah. You know, that's uh, that's that's amazing, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah. I mean, yeah. You know, we just take it for granted. Yeah, right. We want to have yeah many yeah bathrooms yeah where we go. And yeah, yeah. That's a thing. <laughs> it is okay. <laughs> so they were so successful though with yeah all these attributes that they were able to relocate right to their with, current location yeah, within a year. Yep. Yeah. To their current location just next to the Spanish Steps. Exactly next to it. Yeah. Right, yeah. right. It's very prestigious, yeah. and they kept it there. Yeah. So Isabella has kind of a nice story. Yeah. She ends up marrying somebody, mm -hmm. uh, an artist, yes. uh -huh. and we saw some of his works. Yeah. Actually, the portraits he painted of, are hanging there. Yeah. Are hanging there of his wife and, yeah. and of Mrs. Ba Ms. Babington. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they had a daughter, Dorothy. Right. So... This tea room faced a lot of challenges. It, yeah, there was a there was a tumultuous time coming up. <laughs> it really is. If you think you're, you're yeah. when you're doing your business plan, yeah, right, and you have to suddenly yeah. add into the mix a few world world, world wars, world wars. Yeah, that's a little bit tough. Yeah, yeah. So World War One was again a, a, a big challenge. Right. Yep. And they were able to weather it. Yep. Weather it. But it was a little tough yep. on Anna Maria. So she moves up to Switzerland yep. for her health in the 1920s. Yep. Unfortunately, she passes away in 1929. Yep. So it is Isabel's family that ends up running right. Right. Babington's. Well, then guess what? World War II comes about. <sighs> Not World War II. <laughs> <laughs> I right. know. Right. So they, they still yep. keep in business. Yes. And they have some interesting patrons. Yes. So the the high ranking government officials right. at the time the fascists right. they would have their tea and scones at the front dining room. Uh-huh. You know, the yeah. where you would normally yeah. go. Mm -hmm. But yep. the anti fascists, they would have their tea yep. back in a, another room yes. hidden it, away. It's kind of a rambling structure. Right. And you can kind of see how that would happen. Exactly. Yeah. So so they had an escape door yes. through the kitchen. Yes. So they were able to <laughs> yeah, have their tea and make a quick getaway. Yes, All yes. Right. So they they got a lot of uh, a business, and they they did through the help of Isabel's family and yep. staff. They they made it through right. World War II. Yep, tough times. And they were they became just uh, it because it's so beautiful and right. their food is right. so great. Yep. They attracted a lot of the high end. Right, the royals mm -hmm. love going there. Post war. Yes. Uh huh. <laughs> right. And a lot of celebrities, right. like Audrey Hepburn, yes, and Tony Curtis, yes. So those are just some of them. Yeah. Now it's still owned by descendants of Isabel, right? So her great grandchildren, right, Chiara, Chiara and Rory, right, they are cousins. They right. own it. Right. They are the great grandchildren of right. Isabel. Uh huh. And Chiara was our hostess when yes. we went there. Yes, and that was, a, that was a great special time, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. It was amazing, yeah. and and she was so, so friendly and well. Yeah. One thing she's I have to add, she's beautiful. Right, right, yes, yeah, beautiful. Yeah, and she had this, uh, the three tiered afternoon tea right. set for you, me, and yeah. Rachel, right. and all the lovely servings, yes. the silver yeah. teapots, and she even had some extra things right some of their specialties right there was a croissant ham and cheese yeah, sandwich. yeah. and it's yeah. like there was yeah. so much food she goes <laughs> yeah. Yeah. don't worry you don't have to eat it all i just want you to sample everything it's very italian to just load you up with food that's right mangia yeah. right <laughs> so then uh chiara took us back and showed us this right. other room right, right, like right. you said it's yeah. rambling there's yeah. a lot of little rooms in right. the back and this is a special book where they have autographs yeah it was Amazing. Of all these celebrities <laughs> yeah. and royals and it, who had, you know, yeah. left yeah. a little word. Yeah. One of them was Tony Curtis. Yes. Uh -huh. And Chara had memories yeah. of playing with Jamie Lee Curtis. As, as children. As children. Yeah. So Tony Curtis was there filming a movie. Yeah. And I believe Chiara's father was part of the movie in, industry. Yeah, in, in, in Italy. Italy yeah. Yes. Right. Right. Okay. So as if that isn't enough. What? There's more? There's more. We mentioned in an earlier podcast that we met up with our friends Rick and Carol right. at Babington's. Uh -huh. <laughs> so yeah. more celebrities, yeah. right? Right. And it was just one of those those uh, special times right. where 
all the stars aligned. Right, right, right. And they were there with a, another travel group, mm-hmm. and our paths were going to intersect. So right, we right. said, yep. hey, why don't we meet up for lunch and yep. then go to Babington's for tea? Again. <laughs> <laughs> right. And I, you know, I, saw, I often, like, pause yep. and reflect on that. I mean, how many times, Chris, can we say to our friends, yep. hey, why don't we just meet up in Rome for lunch? We just do it once. That's it. <laughs> right. Now we say, how about Grand Tavern happy hour? Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. That we, that we can do a, a lot. Okay. Yeah, right. All right. So let's, uh, so that that was our, our trip to right. to Rome. A lot yep. of great yes. memories there. And we're going to talk a little bit more about that when we, we sure. visit yep. revisit Florence and Venice. Excellent. Okay. All right. So. I'm going to shift gears now and right. talk about our most recent, uh, about our, uh, the most recent article. Yeah. No, the T article, right. the most recent edition of Consumers yeah, yeah, right. yeah. Report. Yeah. Okay. We get it. All right. And before I do that, though, I just wanted to mention that if anyone wants to know more about Babington's right. Tea Room, all right. So that can be seen in the September. October 2018 edition of Tea Time. And there it is. There in, it is. In so, living color. And then I wrote that article. Yep. And um, it, that was just right. a wonderful thing. Very so, all right. all right. So now we're talking about magazines. We're going to talk about consumer reports. Yes. Uh, that's my second favorite magazine. <laughs> What's your first? Tea Time, of uh, course. Of course. <laughs> okay. And they, as I mentioned uh, so smoothly, as I mentioned a yep. moment a moment Great. or two ago, yes. this is in the most recent edition of Consumer Report. Yes, and uh, the section's all on tea. Right, and they talk about the different types of tea. Right, how to brew the perfect pot. Uh-huh. So if you are new to tea, this is a great primer, a yep. great basic yeah introduction. A lot to of tea. good information. A lot yep. of good information. But even for those of us who have been tea. Yep. Uh, students of tea for a long time there's yep. still some interesting information in yep. there mm-hmm. one thing i found pretty fascinating was their section on ready to drink yep. the rtds right. and other types of popular tea right. that maybe aren't as good for you as you might think right because we always think tea that's healthy right not necessarily right. so yeah so some of the iced right tea that you get yeah a lot of processing going yes, on. yes yeah. yes and a lot of sugar mm-hmm. And uh, with the bubble tea and the chai tea, just kind of mm-hmm. make sure you yeah. you're knowing read what read the label, read the label, right. check check out when you're at the the venue, but also detox. Yes, detox tea, and that that gets a lot of buzz for yeah. being kind of healthy. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. A little advertising, but maybe. <laughs> yes, the yeah. the Consumer Report says that they're. It's not only maybe not healthy, but it could be actually detrimental. Yeah. Right. So right. take yeah. a look at that. Yeah. Very good. Yep. Yeah. But in addition to all this information, they also refer to one of our BTS tea yes. friends. Yes. Dr. Michelle Frankel. You got there first. <laughs> I did. I did. Yeah. Yes, Consumer Reports. <laughs> Check our blog <laughs> yeah, right. from February of 2024, yeah. this yeah. year. Yeah. I got to interview Dr. Michelle Frankel. Right. She is a chemistry professor at Bryn Mawr. Right. She wrote the book, Steep, the right. Chemistry of Tea. Right. And I'll put that on the camera, All too. All right, here we go. And she raised a bit of a brouhaha. Okay. <laughs> uh, earlier this year when she, it was noted that in her book, she said that you could use salt in yes. tea to... Controversial and uh, uh, government... Agencies got involved in that. <laughs> they and did. All they that did. Stuff. Yeah. Yeah, and it was just it was an old coffee trick, yeah. like to, to yeah. get uh, make the tea less bitter. Right. But it was kind of when when we interviewed her, she said it was a surprise, but of course it was a good yeah yeah, yeah. good publicity for yeah, her as right. well. Yeah. So okay, that's that's her book. All right. And there's uh so she, she talks about a lot of the the scientific properties of tea. Right. But she also talks about, addresses some of the health benefits. Mm-hmm. And this is the straight up regular tea. Right. Not the herbals. Right. She's, she's addressing tea. Right. And when talking about caffeine, she says this, it may help keep your brain and nervous system healthy. 
say no more. <laughs> I think I need a lot more. There you go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> today. Right. Okay. So. Very good. Yep. There. That's to help my brain power. All right. We're, okay. You're on all eight cylinders now. <laughs> Very good. Yes. Okay. So how are we doing on time? We have about five minutes. Oh, good. Okay. So then uh, we do have time to talk about a lovely tea. Yes. That we had last Sunday. Right. So it was just a week ago. Yep. It's a group of. A of, dozen ladies or so. A dozen ladies. A family and friends. All right. And we were out at the tea room in New Baltimore. Uh-huh. We had a great time. We, we had so much fun. We're, we're planning to do this more on a quarterly basis. Right. Get a group together, pick yep. a tea room. Yep. And. You got your posse together. Get your posse together. We were somewhat limited. Right. Which was nice. No. Uh, they said a dozen is, is no. their sweet spot. Yep. We got our own private room. Yep. And we really enjoyed that. Right. But I, uh, so I want to let everyone know that that is something that is also on horizon yes and okay. we'll be we'll be back doing that but it was really fun i want to thank everyone that came out right uh i again for those who are interested mm -hmm. we're going to be doing more right and maybe we can open it up to a little bit more very good as far as numbers go All right okay and then yeah. i want to wrap up yes with we have some exciting news about our podcast we do we're going to try and take it out on the road. We took a little training uh, this week, mm -hmm. and um, so they're going to entrust us with uh, some uh, equipment <laughs> <laughs> to to uh, take elsewhere, and uh, and it's going to be a lot of fun. We're we're very excited about it, and um, it's a lot more uh, uh, buttons and computers and microphones <laughs> and stuff to set up, and so we'll see how that goes. <laughs> right, right. So we're always uh, trying to be you know, on the the leading edge of. Yeah, we have to go. We have <laughs> to go. We have to go where the tea is. We have to go where the tea is. Right. right. All right. So uh, we experimented today a little bit with a yeah. uh, third camera, yep. and mm -hmm. we're going to yep. launch the the remote podcast soon. Right. Also, I want to uh, make a note. We did have some viewer feedback, yep. and also, yeah, someone sent us some chocolate tea to try yes oh yeah yeah, yeah. and yeah. uh and i i want to devote a little bit more time to that in yeah. a future podcast because we have some exciting news as far as bts programs we're going to be doing a chocolate and tea pairing yes oh, very yeah. early in yeah. 2025 yeah so stay tuned it's one it. of your favorites <laughs> it's one of my favorites right. right okay so uh so for that we have i think we are uh, yeah I think I may oh, hear oh, that okay. news. Here we go. All right. <laughs> that news, the noise. Yeah. I think I need a little bit more. Yeah, that's okay. For my brain power. <laughs> There's um, a lot going on. All right. All so right. I want to thank everyone for uh, tuning in, watching. Yep. I want to thank On TV Studios for hosting us. Yes. And I want to thank Chris, studio engineer, fellow traveler. Yes. Arm Candy. Uh huh. And co host. And for all those, we again, we encourage you to send in your yep. feedback. Love we love it. We absolutely do. All right. And as always, we like to say, please stay tuned. All right. Here we go.